primary mission of the Auburn University Museum of Natural History is uh, to, uh, to conduct biodiversity research and to um, provide a venue for natural history education and outreach. Of course, first and foremost, uh, this collection represents a comprehensive view of, the, of our regional biodiversity, particularly the biodiversity of, um, uh, of Alabama and the southeast region, but we also have collections from all over the world, uh, Central America, South America, Africa, Australia, so our, our, our collections are both, uh, while focused uh, regionally, are worldwide. One role that we hope uh, the museum here at Auburn will, event, will begin to play uh, is to, uh, to serve as essentially a library or a repository for all of the collections-based research that's being, that's being conducted uh, here on campus, not just in the biological sciences, but in other, other departments and colleges. I think our, our collections, uh, all of our collections, are, uh, are, are quite extensive and are growing, but I think the, the fish collection, uh, particularly through the work of John Armbruster, are becoming particular that co that collection or this collection in particular is becoming uh, quite prominent. Uh, John has, uh, uh, through a number of um, projects funded uh, through the National Science Foundation, uh, has and as part of his research, uh, has expanded these has expanded the fish collection considerably. And I think it's uh, at present is probably one of the largest in the southeast. So we have pair types and holotypes. We have one holotype at the moment, and pair types are actually the most valuable specimens in the museum. Ten years ago, we had two shelves worth of pair types. Today, we have two full cabinets, and we're growing at about six pair types a month. This is actually a pair type of a species of gerratid catfish from South America that was named after the curator, Dr. Armbruster. We actually collected this back in Guyana in uh, 2002. Um, it was described by the collection manager at the Academy of Natural Sciences in Philadelphia. And this is a fish we collected in Venezuela back in 1999. And it is about the maximum length of a, an electric eel. This is it. And it is very heavy. We caught it in about six inches so of water. Our biodiversity is important, but we're losing it at a, uh, at a remarkably fast rate. And one of the, you know, one of the roles or one of the missions that we see of our out, in terms of outreach is educate, educating the public about the importance of biodiversity, the importance of biodiversity to them, and uh, and their every, you know, and, and their, and particularly in their in their day to day lives. We soon hope to to vacate the physiology building for a new building that's going to be built uh, behind uh, Rouse Life Sciences. In the future, uh, we hope to further expand our, uh, our building or our infrastructure to include uh, some space to accommodate uh, natural history exhibits for the public. So to try to get uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of these specimens, or not a lot of these specimens, but some of these specimens out uh, so the public can see, uh, or can can both see and learn uh, something about our our biodiversity, particularly uh, the biodiversity of Alabama and, and the and our and and the southeast region.